So uh, on March 14th, 2014, the Veronica Mars movie was released after a year-long uh, kick, well, it wasn't the Kickstarter in last year, but last year uh, he did a Kickstarter, Rob Thomas, the creator, director, and writer, uh, co-writer, and it raised $5.7 million, one being the fastest, ra uh, fastest uh, raised uh, Kickstarter ever, and uh, it's based off of the television show that ran from 2004 to 2007 on UPN and CW. Uh, my biggest worry, because I love the show, but my biggest, the thing I worried most about going into the movie was the lack of cinematic feel to it, uh, which I was pleasantly surprised by because it felt like a movie. Um, I mean, it felt like it was a, an episode of the show, but just made into a movie, made it a little longer. Uh, but I was really happy because as Ralph Thomas really does television works most uh, primarily in television? I was worried about it having a cinematic feel, which it, uh, it accomplished successfully. Uh, as for story, uh, it follows pretty much the same style of uh, an episode, where it would have a a different uh, it would have a different crime or a situation that she would have to solve. Uh, but this, as opposed to using a season, is it like an anthology type thing? Uh, season one was one crime, season two was one crime, and oh, then season okay. three right. was a bunch of, I think it was two really big crimes, but um, yeah, it took one crime and did it throughout a movie though, as opposed to a almost 22 hour season. And the the writing was exceptional. Uh, Rob Thomas has proven to be a wonderful screenwriter, and this was no exception. I was really, really happy with the outcome. Kirsten Bell, uh, was as terrific as Veronica Mars, but even Jason Doring, uh, Frank Capra came back, uh, Enrico, uh, what's his last name? Enrico Colantoni, uh, who plays her father, Chris Lowell came back, and um, it was really good to see everyone back together again. It's really a, a movie for the fans. You could see they took their time with it, they made sure it was good for everyone, but they did a great job uh, making it for the fans. And I think that was really important to the movie's success. Uh, it became the quickest downloaded film on iTunes because it was released on iTunes as well as in the movies. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it did get like a full theater release, uh, or, or I, was did it screen at like festivals, like that type of thing? I premiered at South by Southwest. I know that, but uh, I'm not too sure on if it's te technically it's limited because it's not really too many theaters. I know AMC had a mm -hmm. deal with it where it would be shown at all AMC's, uh, but. Outside of that, uh, it's not really like uh, widespread, but it is on iTunes. It became the fastest selling uh, movie that uh, that day, the fastest downloaded movie, uh, along with Frozen, which Kristen Bell's also. And it's good. It's a good time to be Kristen Bell right now. <laughs> uh, so that was really successful. Um, I mean, it really is uh, a great movie. I heard that Jason Doring, who plays her ex boyfriend uh, Logan, uh, wants to do like a James Bond kind of series thing. Mm -hmm. Which worries me because they left it. They, the ending was really well done. It was like a really good ending, and I feel like if they were to keep going and kind of be like on and off hit, hit or miss, which really James Bond is. Uh, but Rob Thomas did a really great job putting it together and releasing it. Um, I mean, I was really happy. I was really nervous about it. Really happy. Uh, Warner Brothers released the film, uh, but it's almost two hours long and. Is it too long? No, no, not at all. I was going to say, like, I kind of wish there was more to it. <laughs> no, it was like, it was actually like, it's 107 minutes, and it's perfectly, like, set out <laughs> throughout the 107 minutes, which all Veronica Mars episodes really were. Uh, they, like, hooked you in, and they kept you going for the 45 minutes or 40 whatever minutes it was on for. But 107 minutes, and I'm really happy with uh, the length, although I wish there was a little more. Uh, I'm reading right now, the budget was $6 million, I think that's uh, rounded up, but the box office was only $2.2 million, which uh, Warner Brothers still wants to do another one for some reason, or they're talking that's about it. That's a little it. weird, usually yeah. I don't see that, especially from like a major studio like Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. But, um, yeah, I mean, they would be really, really great. Also, James Franco uh, makes a cameo, and recently, I don't know, celebrity cameos have been amazing with... Uh, what was that movie James Franco was in that we saw? This is the end. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Sarah's cameo was hysterical. <laughs> uh, he did a cameo on SNL too, but James Franco played like a dumbed down version of himself. Uh, I'm assuming it's dumbed down. <laughs> but uh, 
it was it was really funny. He um, there's one scene where he's trying to it was at the end of the credits where he's trying to find words that rhyme with orange and some guy has like a secret camera in his house and it's just him like putting on these really tight pants while like orange, storage, and like he just can't do it and it's really funny. Uh, Ryan Hansen, who plays Dick Casablancas on the, uh, in the series, came back and uh, Rob Thomas said he wants to do a mini series with him. Uh, so I was kind of iffy about that too because really the way Veronica Mars died out in, the, in 2007 it left fans wondering because I think they wanted to do more, but um, so it's like weird to see everyone come back, but it didn't ruin anything, which was really good. But I recommend hey, you go see it. Everyone listening, everyone who's gonna see this, you guys should really check it out because it's first of all, it's it's hysterical. They did it. It's <laughs> the comedy is like precise. Um, the it's a great uh, whodunit mystery. Kristen Bell is phenomenal. Rob Thomas and Diane Ruggio, Ruggerio, uh, who co-wrote it with him, uh, did a well job. Uh, did a well done job. And Rob Thomas has proven to be a fantastic director, uh, directing this film. I wish I told, after seeing it, I just wanted to go see it like twenty more times. Uh, I've seen it twice now, and it's been fantastic each time. And you kind of see like new things, which uh, I love in movies. Um, the Usual Suspects is a prime example of that. I'm not saying this is on the same level as The Usual Suspects. I don't think any murder mystery will ever be on the same level as The Usual Suspects. But um, fantastic job. Rob Thomas did a great job taking a television show and making it into a cinematic piece of art. And I'm really happy with the outcome. So everyone go check out Veronica Mars in theaters now. Uh, um, you had said that it's like for the fans though, would this alienate anyone who isn't familiar with the series, like myself? Yes and no, um, because obviously there's those little things like random cameos that uh, only and, you know you just wouldn't understand. Yeah, like someone's gonna be like, oh, I remember him from that weird episode of season two or something. Actually, uh, Aaron Paul's in an episode who was in Need for Speed, unfortunately, and uh, <laughs> still going on about that. But uh, shots fired. <laughs> there's these uh. So the, yes, there's these cameos and maybe like a joke or two, but the first two minutes um, mm -hmm. is like kind of a catch up of all three seasons, and then it kicks off with a new, a new crime kind of thing, a uh, new story. So it's really good. Uh, the person behind me, to the behind me to the left for the first night, which was opening night, wasn't a fan of the show, and she loved it. I just, I mean, she gave it a standing ovation, which she was the only one to. <laughs> but. Um, it's, um, I'm not saying it's not worthy of a standing ovation, uh, but yeah, even if you're not a fan, it's still enjoyable, which was really good. Another thing he did well. Uh, there's also uh, cameos for people that by like uh, the one who plays Celeste Kane. Obviously, you won't know who that is. That's another one. And people in the show are going to be like, oh my god, it's her. But uh, it's not a, uh, something someone who didn't watch the show will. But uh, watch the show because it's really good, really impressive. I went in. When I first saw it, like, oh, this is going to be okay. And I was wrong. Seasons one and two are absolutely incredible. Season three is pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. But the movie surpasses season three, possibly seasons one and two. But go check it out. It's fantastic. Thank you, Rob Thomas. Uh, up next, we have As Tall as Lions with Be Here Now off their, uh, their self-titled album. So take it away, Tom.